If you've dreamed of creating your own hand-painted floral tree ornaments, keep watching for my simple step-by-step -step process. Hello my friends, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and today we're going to get a little bit crafty and lend our painting skills to these beautiful hand-painted tree ornaments. Of course, we're doing florals, what else? <laughs> so let's start with a quick supply rundown. I have a few different types of Christmas ornaments, tree ornaments. We'll talk a little bit more about the specifics of these in a sec. Uh, you'll want to have a palette for your paints. You can use a good palette like me or just something like a yogurt lid. Large brushes, small brushes. I am using all synthetic and very cheap old paint brushes. We're using acrylics. They dry quickly and they tend to wreck your brushes if you're lazy when it comes to rinsing them like moi. Speaking of acrylics, I have these Galleria ones from Windsor and Newton. And then I also have these ones from the dollar store like Deco Art is one of the brands. Um, and I actually found these were better for the project. So if you see them at your dollar store, pick up a few of those colors. They are cheap, cheap, cheap. And then here's the um, ornaments I'm using. So I have the plastic ones that you see everywhere, the clear ones. And then I also have some paper mache ornaments. So search paper mache online or check at your local craft store because those ones are a lot of fun to paint. Okay, so here's what we need to do first. We need to add some color to the ornaments. And actually adding color to the clear ones is really fun because here's how it works. Using these really thin, cheap acrylics, you just pour them in. See, the other acrylics from the art store, they are meant to be used with a medium that will thin them um, or thicken them depending on your project. So these really cheap the ones that are already nice and thin, they work so well for crafty projects like this. Um, I'll be using a combination of the two types, but you can see these ones, the deco art, I can pour right into the clear bobble. It coats the inside. I've got this beautiful black ornament now. And all I did was set it upside down on a piece of scrap paper and it'll all the extra black paint will drain out. Now, while I'm waiting for that to happen, I'm going to start painting my paper mache bauble. I'm mixing up a light blue with just a hint of magenta in it to give it, you know, a bit of warmth, a bit of that periwinkle color. And then for this one, I'm just using my large synthetic paintbrush uh, to lay down this wash of color, basically. And the paper mache ornaments take the paint really nicely for a light color like cream or blue. You, you really only need to do one coat, maybe like one and a half coats. For a darker color, I did find it took two or three, but the acrylics dry really quickly. That's a nice thing about them. So through the magic of YouTube, I already have a bunch of ornaments that I have painted. I have three paper mache ones here. I did a really dark green, a creamy beige, and a light pink. And then I have two more of the clear ornaments. I got these at Michael's, but I also saw them at the dollar store, Hobby Lobby, and I just filled them with the crafters uh, dollar store paint. So this one that we're gonna work on first, filled it with white paint, let it drain out. And then I mixed up a really dark blue acrylic. So this was just a mix of like a royal blue and black. You can see I'm using an incredibly tiny paintbrush. These paintbrushes are also from the dollar store. And what we're going to do for the first ornament is I think a good idea when you're getting started, and that is to paint in a single color. So for the first one, you're getting used to painting on sort of a rounded surface. You're getting used to working with acrylics potentially if you haven't used them before or you don't use them often like me. And uh, it's nice kind of to work in one color. It just takes away part of the um, process and makes it a little easier on you. So for this one, what we're really thinking about, and if you watch my watercolor videos, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about, is just think about the brush strokes. You're going to use the tip of the brush to do the delicate work like the stems and branches, and you're going to use the belly of the brush and drag it across this bauble to make the larger shapes like leaves and flower petals. It's hard to get perfection with this technique of, you know, using cheap crafty acrylics on plastic baubles. So I really want you to give up on the idea of getting it perfect and just focus on this idea that the 
whole is nicer than the sum of its parts. So some of my leaves and little berries, you're gonna see me do some little berries in a sec, and they are not perfect. Some of them are a, a touch messy, and it doesn't matter. The whole effect of these tiny leaves and flowers on the glass or the plastic is just so pretty. So not every leaf needs to be perfect. Some of my branches were a little thicker than I wanted. Some of the leaves were like a weird shape. Just try to focus on the brush strokes, run that brush across your ornament and just call it a leaf. It's a leaf if you say it's a leaf, remember that one. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. I just painted uh, one side of it. And we're gonna do a few more together. And I'm not gonna walk you through every one because I think Part of the fun of these ornaments is coming up with your own color combos and floral designs. But I just wanna give you some inspiration for color palettes and floral shapes, and you'll be able to run with it from there. So for my beige uh, paper mache ornament, I am doing a, uh, a couple colors. So moving on from our single color, and I'm going to do white flowers with green leaves and a brown stamen. So I'm beginning with a single color and that is the white for the flowers and I think these florals are a great example of kind of just running the brush across the ornament. Some of the flowers are three petals, some are four, some are five, some are just like a heart shape. It really doesn't matter. Get very loose with your shapes. I think that's kind of the key is that they should look a little loose and very perfectly imperfect. And then the leaves are another just great example of thinking about the brush strokes. Use the very tip of that little brush to do these delicate stems and use, um, just sort of run it across the page and knock that paint off it, or not the page, <laughs> the Christmas ornament. And, uh, you know, call it a leaf. Just leave it, leave it alone. One or two brush strokes should give you a nice leaf shape. And then you might wanna go over the white portions a second time, give a second pass. And then when everything has dried, we will add a stamen. But for now, I'm going to move on and keep doing some white flowers on my dark green ornament. And I really like the way um, we're getting a nice striking contrast here. I should also mention that I'm just painting two thirds, about two thirds of each ornament, and then I'm just setting them down and letting them dry. And I'll come back and paint the other portion of the sphere uh, later on. And as I mentioned, acrylics do dry really quickly. Um, so no need to worry about that. And if the ornaments have a string, you could hang them to dry. Here I am just adding little stamens on this first one. A couple little lines and dots is all you need. Again, perfectly imperfect. Think very loose florals. Watching this back, I realized I used a lot of white <laughs> for my florals. The color palettes tend to be a little bit muted, white with green, white with brown. Um, and I typically in my Christmas decor go for quite a classic. Um, kind of understated look, but I think you can see these baubles would be so pretty done in a ton of colors. The florals lend themselves to that. So if you're uh, someone who has a very colorful Christmas tree, I think these would be absolutely lovely. If you go for even less color than this, you know, just doing them white and blue or uh, beige with burgundy, keeping that really kind of classic Scandi folk art look would be so lovely. So there's a lot of options here. This paper mache bauble is one of my favorites. Um, I did the white with green, and then I used a, a blend of red and magenta to just do these tiny little berries. And again, they're very perfectly imperfect. The acrylic, you know, the, especially these cheap acrylics, it tends to kind of clump up a little bit on your brush. And uh, often I was just painting just to try and get a blob of paint off my brush. So berries might be different sizes and that's totally fine. Uh, and then for this one, the other plastic ornament, I wanted to do some roses. So let's talk about the process here. To begin, I'm starting with a very light pink. So I have my magenta mixed with lots of white and I am just laying down this messy circular shape. It's kind of made up of these messy petals. It's very loose, very perfectly imperfect. Then I mix a little bit more magenta into that color to darken it slightly. And I go around again and kind of add some darker pink to the center of the flower or the inside of the flower. 
Then again, I add a little more magenta and I get a darker pink and we're adding a few more little curving brush strokes and you kind of get darker and darker and the circles get smaller and smaller so that you have these roses that start quite light on the outside and get darker towards the center. I think you can see how they're very perfectly imperfect and we're kind of just hinting at the idea of a rose. And I am grabbing a deep phthalo green. I, this is one of my Windsor & Newton acrylic colors. And we are just, again, using that brush, running the brush across the ornament once or twice to make the shape of a leaf and using the tip of the brush to do the delicate branches and stems in between. It's sometimes a nice idea to leave a little bit of negative space in between those two brush strokes. It gives the look of a kind of a line down the center of your leaf. And if you can manage that with your little brush, that's a nice detail. I also added some little rose buds, you'll notice. Those are just one brush stroke with pink and joined with some green stems. As your ornaments begin to dry, you can flip them around and continue painting to make sure that your design is 360. And it's also a nice idea to add uh, some more color on top. You can see here I'm using a lighter sap green and building some shading on the leaves of the roses. So that's another nice touch. And from there, you know, just have fun with these. You can do endless color combinations, floral shapes. If you're more comfortable with just leaves, I think that would look equally lovely. Try Christmas plants like holly or cedar. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy these beautiful tree ornaments in your home this Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be gifting some of these ornaments to friends and family, as well as keeping my favorites for my own tree. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more artsy content like this, and I will see you soon with a new tutorial.